Welcome to Semi Living. Today, we're probably gonna make something really, really yummy, but not brains. Hi, y'all. Truck driver Linda. Truck driver Paul sitting up front. Hello. So, this week we are super excited. We hit our 10 subscriber mark. I know it's not a lot right now, but for uh, in our little world, it's over the top exciting. In fact, we're now at 11 subscribers. So we are over the top excited about it. And we thought for a celebration, we should make some heart healthy muffins. Don't panic. They're delicious heart healthy muffins. They're chocolate chocolate chip blueberry muffins. For starters, preheat your lunchbox. Before you plug it in and preheat it, you are definitely going to want to line it with some aluminum foil. It, this is important because we got to put water in here. So water is really hard to clean up once it bakes into the bottom of these. So you're going to want to line it and plug it in and preheat it. Okay, that's step number one. Step number two is that you want to make your own little muffin tins for your paper to go in. So we're, I'm going to show you how to make the aluminum foil for the cups. However, you still need the paper cups. I have tried muffins just in the aluminum, putting them in the lunchbox. They taste like tin. They're horrible. So even though we're making little muffin cups, you still need the paper liners for it. So those are important. And I'm going to show you in just a second how to make those. Before I show you how to make those, I want to get some margarine into the lunchbox to start melting. So I've got two tablespoons and I just put it in some aluminum foil. And I'm just gonna make it, let's turn it down. Okay, I'm just gonna make it into like a little cup, just so it doesn't leak out, doesn't really matter, just so it doesn't, you know, as it melts, it doesn't get all over your lunchbox. So that I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna put it in my lunchbox and let it melt. That's what you wanna do. Let it start melting while we make our tin foil cups. Okay, tin foil cups you need. I, I always buy heavy duty aluminum foil. I, the other stuff, it, it's just thin. It seems to tear easy, but it's up to you. You're gonna need a little piece about this big and you're just gonna fold it let me turn you down again. You're going to fold it in half and tear it in half like that. Okay. And then you're just going to get, I'm using this. It's just a little cup, just something with a solid bottom. And I just put it over this like this to shape it. And I'm just shaping it. That's all. Hold it down, hold it down, like that. That's all there is to it, just like that. And then you just get your paper cups. You're gonna need at least three. Three will fit in the lunchbox at a time. You are going to need hose clamps. You, you're gonna need these. These are gonna sit in the lunchbox and you're gonna sit on top of them. And then this is gonna be covered in water. So you're gonna need the hose clamps so the, to keep this up. You don't want these on the bottom. They'll burn before they get done. With all that being said, I'm gonna put gloves on because I'll probably end up digging around in all this stuff. The recipe is really easy from here. You're gonna add one cup of all-purpose flour. Add one third cup of packed light brown sugar. And that's what it means by packed. See how it just comes out the shape of the cup? You're gonna add that. 
You need one tablespoon of cocoa powder, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. Add all those, and I'm just gonna mix it up with my hands. Take a well, and in that well, I'm gonna add one egg. And this, this is almond milk. It's a half a cup of almond milk. You can use regular milk. It, it would still be a half a cup. Almond milk just makes it a little bit healthier. I'm gonna add that. And then I'm gonna, oh, and I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit while I'm waiting on the margarine to melt. I'm gonna lose these gloves. And I'm gonna check the margarine just to see if it's melted yet. Oh yeah, that didn't take very long, did it? Get that out. All right, and add your melted margarine. Mix it up. Then you're gonna fold in, so you don't wanna mix a half a cup of, of fresh blueberries. You're just gonna fold them in. And then I've got a quarter of a cup of dark chocolate chips. Add those. And again, you're just gonna be folding it because you don't wanna bust open the blueberries. I'm using fresh blueberries. If you're gonna use frozen blueberries, they need you need to thaw them and dry them before you put them in your batter. And then that's it. All right, so get your lunchbox down. Let me get y'all down. Open it up. You're gonna need your hose clamps. Put them in there, kind of like that. And then I've got a cup of water here. This is about a cup. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want to get it to where it's at the top of the hose clamps. And then just close that, let your water, and be careful how you move it, but let your water start getting hot. And while that's getting hot, we're gonna take our cups right here, three of them and a spoon and we're just gonna spoon some in the cups. Just like that. So, just like that. Okay. And there's the first three. And then you're just gonna add these right on top of your hose clamps. Like that, close it. So just set those right on, set those right on top, close it up, 30 to 35 minutes. What I would recommend, because you've added water to the lunch box, put a towel underneath it, you're probably gonna get some condensate condensation on the outside. So I'm just going to set this aside. Y'all want to talk about dark chocolate? Chocolate kind of has a little bit of a bad rap. It does have a lot of calories and you don't want to eat a lot of chocolate. I'm not talking about eating gobs of chocolate every day. However, dark chocolate has quite a few health benefits when you take it in moderation, like maybe once a week. It helps with the cravings for the, the sweet craving. It, it might actually help reduce sun damage to your skin. 45 grams per week of dark chocolate actually reduces your risk of stroke. It also lowers your bad cholesterol and raises your good cholesterol. And it can improve your mood. It helps with your vision. It, it improves your blood flow. There is a lot of things with dark chocolate that make these so good for you to eat. 
So then let's talk about blueberries. Y'all, blueberries are a superfood. Of the eight best berries to eat, blueberries top the list. They have vitamin C, vitamin K, manganese, they have fiber. Paul and I, we eat blueberries every day. They have antioxidants. It can lower your blood cholesterol, your, your bad, and raise your good blood cholesterol. Blueberries are the bomb. Just wanted to go over that stuff while I'm having some dark chocolate. All right, y'all ready to check these? Aim that down. Let me grab a dark chocolate chip there. Hmm. Ooh, look at those. So when you're checking them, you want to try to not poke a blueberry because it'll come. It'll look different when it comes out. Oh yeah, those are done. Done. So we're just gonna take them out. And get the other, and I'm going to add more water for the other three. Close it up. Let that water stay hot. I'm going to take these three out of the tin foil and just reuse it. Add three more cups. So Jen, just do up three more cups, add them in there for 30 to 35 minutes, and they'll be done. I wanted to show you another way you could make them. I have some mini loaf pans. They're like five by three by two or something like that. And you can make them in that as well. Look how pretty those are. Little mini loaves. All done. Paul showed up in time to eat some chocolate. Yes, I did. Hmm. Okay. So, dark chocolate, blueberries, good for the heart. Justifiable chocolate eating. While I'm eating this, I'm helping my heart. <laughs> I'm just saying. I actually got eight muffins out of this instead mm. of six. Mm -hmm. The reason you only saw seven it's because he already ate them. I'll take the blame. <laughs> we could not be more pleased with our 11 subscribers. And the muffins are a great way to say thank you to the 11 subscribers we have. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. If you're new, subscribe.